What's going on everyone? This is Alex KGB. Uh, so I'm level 50 with my druid and I have uh, a werewolf build. I know I was going with werebear, but um, you know you have to go with the items you got. So you have to build best of what you have on the items and imprints. And then maybe to the higher levels, maybe to level 80 plus, uh, then you can start collecting towards a specific build. But if you presented with certain items, you know I suggest you just follow the best build for those items. Uh, so. Overall, I think this is my uh, final build with Druid and I'm going to switch for Sorcerer. Uh, but overall, I think Druid is a lot harder to level up uh, and go through uh, this, you know, different levels. Uh, with different builds, it's just in general harder. But once you get to level 50, you know, you have you can have a certain build that's going to be pretty powerful. So we're going to do some uh, Stronghold, we'll fight a boss uh, and I'll go through the build. So this is Werewolf. Um, the items that I have, so first imprint is uh, debilitating roll is now werewolf skill. In addition, debilitating roll will immobilize poisoned enemies for 3.8 seconds. So you can uh, get in the fight, do poison creeper, uh, this will increase your criticals, and then uh, do debilitating roll, immobilizing them. Uh, when you, uh, the, uh, the second imprint, when you use shape shifting skills that changes your form, gain 101 life. If you're full life, they gain the same amount as 45. Um, this one is very important to this build, this is critical. So imprinted Grizzly Rage now is shape-shifting you to a Dire Wolf. And as a Dire Wolf you gain 23% movement speed instead of damage reduction. And 46% spirit cost reduction bonus. So you can continuously do Shred. Um, in addition, kill heals you 10% of maximum life. Alright. Uh, then we have a Barrier here, just you know for survivability. Then we have Unstoppable, so uh, imprinted while Unstoppable for 4 seconds after you gain 10% increased movement speed and can move freely through enemies. Um, so you are Unstoppable in Grizzly Rage as a Werewolf, so that this is actually helpful. Then I have, uh, now my Wolf Companions are Werewolf Companions, so they do 170, 100, 170, uh, 170 uh, percent increase additional damage and can spread rabies um, this one is also very critical to this build so now the duration of grizzly rage is increased by eight seconds in additional critical strike while grizzly rage is active increase your critical damage by 10 percent for the duration uh, then we have uh, shred seeks out nearby poison enemies instantly doing 70 percent of the poison damage to them so this will works again with poison creeper uh, and then you have 8% increased dodge change versus enemies affected by damage over time effect. When you dodge, you gain 6 of your primary resource. So the core items here, uh, essentially is Grizzly Rage is Shapeshift and then uh, the duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by 8. So those are the core items. Everything else kind of works well with it because it, it is a werewolf. But uh, definitely some of the items can be better, right? Unique or like improved. Okay, so let's go to uh, Spirit and Boons. So I have 10 uh, maximum Spirit for the first Boon. Then uh, gain 30% critical strike damage. So increase 30%. Uh, over here, two Boons activated. So one is Energite. So dealing damage has up to 15% chance to restore 10 Spirit. And then extend the duration of ultimate skill by 25%. So this is on top of the 8 additional seconds. So Grizzly Rage is a... Uh, it's pretty long, lasts uh, for quite a bit now. And then the last one, we have critical strikes with shape-shifting skills heal your 3 maximum life. Okay, 3% maximum life. Uh, Alright, let's go through the abilities. So just one for the claw. Uh, claw attack speed is increased by 10, and then it also applies poison da damage. Uh, then we have Heart of the Wild, so just to enable wild impulses. So skills cost 9% more spirit but deal 15% increased damage which is not that critical I mean that's a good damage increase but uh, again with uh, Grizzly with uh, with this imprint with Grizzly Rage being Dire Wolf we have a de uh, we have 46% uh, spirit cost reduction bonus so you're gonna be doing a lot of shreds uh, in the Grizzly Rage form um, all right, so then uh, Shred, you max it out, Enhanced Shred, Heals, and then uh, Primal Shred. 
So Shred, second, third attack also perform dash. In addition, Shred's critical strike damage is screened by 30. So we're really increasing the critical strike here. Uh, we have Predator Instinct. So critical strike chance against close enemies is, is increased by 6%. Uh, over here we do debilitating roar. Um, you can have just one in it. It doesn't really matter. It just uh, cooldown goes down with, uh, if you level it up. So one is fine. Uh, debilitating roar also fortifies you and initiate debilitating roar slows enemies by 65%. Um, over here, so because we do have maxed out wolves and maxed out poison creeper, I put in Call of the Wild, so 30% additional bonus damage for companions. So poison creeper, enhanced poison creeper, and then here brutal poison creeper for 20% critical strike uh, chance increase. Over here we have wolves, uh, enhanced wolf back, and then furious wolves, so they uh, for this chance to fortify. So I mean, wolves will continuously provide fortify. Um, Okay, over here we got, uh, so we have Neurotoxin, Poison Enemy slowed by 16, we got and Venom, so Poison Enemies take 30% additional Critical Strike damage, and then Toxic Close, Critical Strike with Werewolves deal 23 of the base damage as Poisoning damage over 4 seconds. Uh, here we got uh, Grizzly Rage, we got Prime Grizzly Rage and uh, Supreme Grizzly Rage. Was that we have quick shift, uh, increased damage when you transform in different form, uh, shape shift fortifying, so natural fortitude, and heightened senses. So upon, upon shape shifting into werewolf, Werber gain 12 damage reduction against the lids. And then for the ultimate passive, we have looping ferocity. So every six attack with werewolf skill critical strikes and deals additional 70% increased damage. So you'll see a lot of critical strikes happening uh, with Werewolf. Alright, so now let's uh, take this build to the test. Alright, so we're gonna slay the Stormcaster. Poison, Roar, let's do the shapeshift, here's the guy, so because you're unstoppable, you know, just keep on hitting. Okay. storm has ended so you can see it lasts quite a while uh, i was able to clear this out yeah because i'm unstoppable i really don't care about being frozen or stunned uh so let's see how we're gonna do against malnuk So I want to max out my spirit before I start. Okay, let's do... Okay, so the ult is out. Okay, let me. Okay, I'm safe. I'm just gonna finish him off with werewolves. Okay, so here we have it. That's the werewolf druid. I mean, it's a pretty solid build. I think it's gonna scale well past uh, level 50 with different. Um, Paragon, so I don't have any Paragon yet because I just hit level 50, right? 51. Alright, so let me know what you think. Uh, this was Alex KGB. 
uh, leave your opinion in the comments. Uh, one thing that I can say about Druid uh, before I end this, so Druid is the hardest class so far. So I've played with Barbarian, Necromancer, Rogue, got them all past level 50. Druid was the lo the hardest to to work with to level. Uh, so I, ha I still have Sork, so I'm, I'm starting Sork next. I, I did not get to the Were, uh, the, uh, were Bear build. Uh, maybe later, uh, but uh, in general, I think if you want to try Druid or start with Druid as your first character, just be aware that's going to be the hardest one uh, to go through the game, at least from my opinion. Uh, I had a lot of instances where it took a lot of time to clear out enemies. Uh, you would die a lot in dungeons. So um, once you hit level 50, yes, you can have very solid builds, but before that, I mean, uh, you will be quite slower compared to other classes okay so this was alex kgb uh thanks for watching and bye bye